You boys okay? Yeah. Take more than a cannon to kill the younger brother, sir. I think cannon's doing a pretty good job, Cole. Some Indian tracker you turned out to be, Tom. Pay me to find your blue coats. There they are. Give me the James boy. You want Jesse? No, not Jesse. I want the one that can shoot. Frank! Frank, up front! Jesse, watch your back! I put my head up to hit that Gatlin, and they try and shoot it off. So we got a plan? Yeah, my plan to lie in here, pinching myself, see if you're working mighty fine. Thank you. Listen, I can hit those boys from here. We just need a distraction. A distraction? Why the hell didn't you just say so? He's smiling. It's never a good thing. enough for you? Oh, they hardly even noticed you. So you're saying I could have done more to attract their attention, huh? Uh-huh. Such as? Well, you could have worn one of those big, floppy women's Easter Sunday bonnets. Yeah, that would have made an impression. <laughs> I figure. See, that's your problem, Frank. By the time you finish figuring out stuff, well, I'm already finished doing it. No, Jesse. See, your problem is you're always doing stuff before I'm finished figuring it out. Woo! down, boy! Wait till we get back to Missouri. Tell all them little gals about how little Jesse James here charged the whole Union Army by itself. Hey, Carl, he <laughs> keeps that up. He's liable to outrank you soon. Well, but I'll still be better looking, won't I? Let's meet on that road over there to the south. 
Get to catch those Yankees. Old Jesse here scared off. Yeah. Ride with me, cousin. I could use the walk. All right. Suit yourself. We'll have some horses waiting for you at the road. Okay. All right, Rangers, let's ride. Yeah. Now, I would sound just stupid saying something like that. Yeah. Yankees back there. Lots of them. War's over, son. General Lee surrendered yesterday at Appomattox. Yesterday. Well, somebody better go tell the damn Yankees. What do you reckon, cousin? Home. Cole, we go home. And we ride like hell to get there. And God help any fool who tries to come between me and my farm again. Now, that's the best damn plan I heard all war. Come on, boys, let's ride! I'm going! Go home. Back to our farms. Planting corn, harvesting corn, and eating corn. Corn gonna shoot at me? Nope. Then I love it. Let's go. We got problems. We got a garrison in town. We're in occupied territory, boys. Hands off your hip, Colt. You ain't scared, are you, Jesse? Pick your fights, cousin. You taught me that. Jesus mercy. That's Charlie Higgins. I'm cutting him down. Not now, Cole. What the hell's wrong with you? In case we have to kill these son of a bitches, I don't want them to see us coming. Cole, I want to get back to the farm and make sure little Jim and the girls are okay. Yeah, and stop by our spread after that and tell her Ma we're all right. We'll go see Doc Mims. Excuse me, sir. We're here for the doctor. Zarella? Little Z Mims? Well, you were little Jesse James when he left. Yeah, but you got big. I, I mean, Z, you, you aged. I, what I mean is, in a good way, you, you got you got big and older. Frank, will you say something, please? No, you're doing just fine. Frank? Jesse? Daddy. <laughs> Where's Webb? He rode right into him, screaming like a banshee. <laughs> Webb did that. He jumped his horse clear over our heads. And killed a dozen Union soldiers before they knew what hit him. Took out the Gatling gun and the cannon all by himself. He saved all our lives, Doc. But none of the Liberty boys would have come home if not for Webb Mims. God's honest truth. Webb died fighting. Webb died a hero. He still died. Look, Doc, if there's anything we can do for you, we want to help. Start thinking about yourselves. 
Don't end up like Charlie Higgins. They found out Charlie rode with Quantrill's raiders. They arrested him. They tried him by military tribunal, and they hanged him this morning. Well, I thought there was a general amnesty. The soldiers, yes. But if you rode in one of the partisan bands, they'll hang you for treason. And you boys are in more danger because you've got a farm. See, the railroad men come through offering to buy up land. Nobody sells. So the army starts hanging men who own farms for treason. During the war, all we thought about was coming home. And I swore I'd kill anybody who tried to get me off my farm again now. If I have to go to war with the railroad to stay, it's fine by me. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's think about this. If we have a good story and we stick to it, we should be all right. What story are they going to believe, Frank? Hmm. You were in the Confederate Army with General Hood's Texas Army, and so say Sharpsburg, where you were reassigned to General Jeb Stuart's cavalry until you surrendered in Tennessee. But this might work. Yeah, that might just work. Now go on to see your ma. She'll be glad to see her sons alive. And for her sake, stay that way. See? Thank you for everything, especially that story that you told my father. Now look, see. I'm going to go cry now. to turn into a hell of a woman, eh? Oh, yeah. Big and older. You can shut up now, Frank. You are a charmer. I swear to God, I will shoot you in your sleep. Next time, try fat and haggard. Not if you don't ease up a bit, Mom. <laughs> oh. Oh, Mom. Did you kill Yankees? A fair number, Mom. Yeah. And did you say your prayers? Every night, Mom. Oh, good. Well, now, come on inside. Wash your hands for dinner. <laughs> oh, you look so good. Oh. Oh, you look great. Oh, come on. Howdy, boys. Look at Jimmy Younger, all grown up. How you doing? I'm all right. Your mom wouldn't let us leave until we ate something. Yeah, that was about two hours ago. I don't see clean plates. Ma, I'm glad to see you being so nice to our Indian friend. Well, he's a good Christian, and he killed Yankees. And Jesus told me that made him an all right boy. <laughs> well, he's still talking to Jesus. You know what worries me is that Jesus is talking back. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank. <laughs> you might need that, ain't you? You ever, you ever notice your eldest eyes? Yeah. Yeah. You got two of them, don't you? I think one of them's glass. Yeah, which one is that? Is that the right one or the left one? The brown one. Hey, Cole. Don't make me tell the whole town about that time you screwed that fella in Atlanta, OK? Ooh. Talking to me? You mean that dance hall girl with bunnies? Yeah. Sadie was a beautiful woman. Sadie was not a man. She had a mustache, nice mustache. I think she had more than a mustache. Well, she, she was European. Ah, uh, all right. I'll admit Sadie was a woman if you just stop saying things about my Z. My Z? Your Z? Yeah. Huh. From women's eyes, this doctor and I derive, they sparkle still the right Promethean fire. They are the books, the arts, the academes that show, contain, and nourish all the world. Well, I don't, I don't know what it is that you just said, but it sounded real nice. That's Shakespeare. Now, he's European. You want to write that down for me, Frank? So I can say it to Z? Yeah, I'll send you a telegram. Thanks, brother. Thanks for the help, Cole. Oh, easy plenty over at our place. You miss it, don't you? What, the war? Yeah. Hell no. There are things I miss about it, but... It was exciting. Yeah, but it was a whole lot of killing. And why should we miss that? Well, because we were good at it. Shoot, we were great at it. If you tell anybody I said this, I might have to kill you, because everybody knows I'm the toughest man in this town. But you are one terrifying son of a bitch with them guns. Yeah, well. Boys? Howdy, folks. How are you today? Howdy. Uh, Easterners. We're just fine, thank you, sir. I'm Roland H. Parker. 
personal emissary to Mr. Thaddeus Raines, president of the Rock Northern Railroad. And this gentleman is the famous Alan Pinkerton, founder of the Secret Service and currently under contract to Mr. Thaddeus Raines. As you no doubt heard from your neighbors, our railroad is moving west. Well, that makes sense as, see, east would put you underwater. <laughs> <laughs> moving west to open up the frontier to folks such as yourselves. It just so happens that your acreage here is located on the proposed right of way. I am here to get your signature on this land sale contract. And I'm authorized to pay you two dollars an acre. Two dollars. That's right. That's the price approved by the Department of the Interior of the Government of the United States of America. This land ain't for sale. Ma'am, I can understand how you feel. You've made a lovely home here, but it really isn't up to me or you. You're familiar with the legal concept, the right of eminent domain? Yeah, I am. What about it? This land's about to be condemned. So you see, I'm doing you folks a favor. The price of $2 an acre is a one-time only deal. After today, the price goes down. So if I were you, I would just sign the contract and we'll be on our way. Good day, Mr. Parker. You can tell Mr. Thaddeus Reigns to put this where the sun don't shine. Shakespeare. I don't think you understand. You don't have a choice. Ma'am, I think that you should search your heart here and try to do the right thing. Let me ask the Lord. <laughs> the Lord says we can bury him out back in the orchard. Nobody will ever find him. Somebody's in a vengeful mood today. Why don't we let him go for today, Ma? We'll bury him out back next time. Oh, all right. Now, ma'am. You folks are making a serious mistake here. Nicely played. Tell all the folks what you told me, Frank. Well, I went to the courthouse to look at the right-of-way documents for the rail bed. The railroad doesn't even need our land. They're just using our land on both sides for as far as they can. Uh, Floor recognizes Clell Miller. They're saying if we don't sell, we might end up with nothing. That's only if we don't stick together. Lonnie Packwood. I say this is the last straw. I came back from the war. My farm was burned down. My cows was dead, and now my wife's run off with my cousin, Jeb, the son of a bitch. He took my dog. Uh, Lonnie, about the railroad. He took my dog. They got called. Dad, he came to our house. You need to all want to hear this. They came up. They made the same offer they made you folks. Our little brother Jim tried to chase him off. One of the detectives hit him in the head and knocked him out. Cole lost his temper. Oh, no. Well, he just lost his temper a little. How many of them did he kill, Bob? Two. Oh. They said that because the detectives was working for the Department of the Interior... The Army can hang him. Tomorrow. What do we do? Nothing. Look, you folks are going to do nothing. You're going to go home right now. You too, Doc. You can swear in a Bible that you don't know anything about what's going to happen tomorrow. Boys. Doc. Go home. They ain't going to hang no more Liberty Boys. Go. Meeting's adjourned. Go home, everybody. Go home. I'm staying. Me too. Lonnie Quell. I couldn't lose him. Oh, Jim Younger, I told you to stay home! My fault they're gonna kill Cole. I want in. Jim, it was just a matter of time before they tried to hang somebody else to scare off the other farmers. And you're too young. Too young?
I'm the same age you were when you went to war. Yeah, and the same age Webb was. No. You're wasting time. Z, go home. Who else was there when they hanged the others? You need to know how they do it, which way they walk up, what order they do things in. And if you mess up, rest him cold because you won't listen to a woman, then damn you all. All right. Eight of us against a Union regiment and Pinkerton detectives in the middle of Main Street in broad daylight. He's smiling. Is that bad? Very. Pinkerton, relax. The army has everything well in hand. Nothing like a hanging to motivate the population to relocate. It's not my job to relax. I've got men positioned at every entrance to this square, so no one will ride in shooting. And I've got a sharpshooter up on that rooftop over there. Just in case. Be it known that Coleman Younger be found guilty of treasonable acts against military law and the Articles of War, be hanged this day by the neck until dead. May God have mercy on his soul. I better get a doctor. The bullet came out clean, but he's lost an awful lot of blood. He's gonna be fine, right, Daddy? Praying wouldn't hurt. Look at that. Stay here with him. Sir, we're looking for a fugitive. We're checking all the houses in the area. Powell, out back. McCall, check the first floor. I'm going up. Sir, who are you? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Well, I should hope so. Go. Go. Does he know you're awake? Does he set your hand?
you're gone. What are you? I, I pulled them into thinking I was alone. Well, let's hope the boy pulls through. I think he's feeling better already. Thaddeus Rain, sir. It's a pleasure to have you join us in the field. Well, I'm pleased to be here. Really? No, Parker, no. I'm really not pleased to leave my boardroom and come to this godforsaken piece of dirt to discover why, in the name of all that's holy, you can't seem to evict a few simple farmers from their pathetic little mud holes so that I can build the greatest railroad the world has ever seen. Well, I completely understand your distress, sir. What's going on? Well, sir, two weeks ago, we managed to arrange to have the army hang one of the local farmers. That's good. No, unfortunately not, sir. Uh, a group of local thugs managed to rescue him from the gallows. Uh, not only did this inspire resistance in the other farmers, but the redoubtable Mr. Alan Pinkerton was seriously injured in the incident. Leaving you in charge of operations until he should return. A further impediment is that the army garrison has been ordered to move on away from liberty, so we no longer have that particular stick with which to threaten the farmers. You see the army leaving, you see the loss of a tool. I see a power vacuum to be filled. As we have the most power, we may move with impunity. I see, sir. I'll get together four patrols of our detectives for action tonight. We'll teach these podunks what happens when they challenge the righteousness of progress. You shouldn't be up. Oh, I've been on my back two weeks, see? I'm sick of it. You sick of my company? No, of course not, see? <laughs> Teasing you is completely unfair. Yeah, what you do to me is unfair. Well, I shouldn't tease a hero. A what? Everybody in the county knows it was you who rescued Cole. We're all so proud of you, Jesse. And not a single farm's been sold to the railroad since. Oh, that's good. But I wasn't the only person risking my neck that day, so. So what you're saying then is that I should go and spend time with Cole Younger? With Cole Younger? No, I never said that. <laughs> you gonna stop loafing around with that young lady and get back to the farm? What do you think, Frank? You get in the wagon. Until Ma has you home so she can fuss over you herself, she's gonna make me miserable. What do you say, sir? Go ahead, you're pretty much all healed up. Thank you, Doc. Of course. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Z. <laughs> You're looking a bit more spry. Shut up, Frank. Uh, Doc, <clears throat> I was wondering if uh, later this evening I could come by. You're always welcome here, Jess. Yeah, I know, Doc, but, well, I was thinking maybe I could come by and take Z out. You know, someplace near, with other folk. Near, you know, here, but <clears throat> out. Fine by me, Jesse. Oh, don't worry, sir. I'll make sure they're properly chaperoned. <laughs> well, that hadn't even occurred to me, Frank. I am deeply in your debt. Oh, well, you are very welcome, sir. Oh, by the way, the Army's leaving town so Cole can stop hiding up in the woods and get back to his farm. We're all going to meet at the younger place for a shindig. How are you? Hey, Cole, hey, Yager. Hey, Lonnie pa Hey, who's seen Lonnie Packwood? How he's dressed? Look at this. Tom, come here, huh? Thank you. You behave yourself, you hear? Hey, look, Liberty's favorite son. Come here. Tom, Tom. Never forget what you did, cousin. You know what? Yeah. Huh? Z, I'm pleased you came. Oh, I thank you, Bob. I'm especially pleased you came with Jesse. Seeing as right now there's a gaggle of girls over there hoping to dance with Jesse, who are just gonna have to settle with the many charms of Bob Young. Oh, Bob, you have no shame. Not yet. But I'm hoping. Excuse <laughs> me. Well, let's dance.
come to this rock all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Just imagine what my life would be like when I got older. You didn't want to farm? Ah, I was thinking more along the lines of being a river pirate. <laughs> a river pirate? Yeah. Or I know we are Joe, <laughs> Well, thank God you grew out of that. You did grow out of that, didn't you? Mostly, yeah. I mean, it would be an all right life for a bachelor. Are you planning on being a bachelor your whole life, Jesse James? Not if I find the right girl. And what's this right girl like? What's she like? She's, uh, she's smart. She's funny. She's bossy. She always makes me think she's at least two steps ahead of me. <laughs> Where will you find such a girl? <clears throat> From this doctrine. From women's eyes, these doctrine, this doctrine I derive. They sparkle. Still like tiny sparkling rocks. Diamond. Sparkling rocks. Yeah, little ones. <laughs> is this one of Frank's Shakespeare poems you're trying to quote? Yes, it is. Were you planning on kissing me when you finished quoting? I've been planning on kissing you for a very long time. No, Mo. Now we gotta get to the dock now. Take care, boys. Take care. Oh, take care of each other. No, dock names. Shh. Oh, look at that. The good Lord's a bit shorter than I reckon. Else. I don't care. I didn't think you would. Our place, Quail Millers, Sammy Johnson, the Creeders, Will Height. The sheriff said it was a gang of drunk Kansas boys. I said we ride into town and we kill some Pinkertons and railroad men. No. This isn't a feud, this is war. They've got more men than we do. And what do we do, General Lee? We do what we did in the war. We harass their supply lines. We try and kill the railroads, man, they won't care. But if we take away their money and supplies... Exactly. That's a good plan, Jesse. I'll get us a few more men, and Comanche Tom will ride with us. Where do we hit first? I know a gal down at the bank. See if she can't get me a list of towns where the railroad's keeping us money. Frank have to go away for a while. But you and I, we 
you started something, you know? I don't know what'll happen if you do this. Neither do I. Just let the law... Laws don't touch men like Thaddeus Reigns. Only justice does. Who's justice? Yours or God's? When will you stop? When I send them to their graves. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I have bad news. The railroad payroll has been stolen. What are you talking about? The railroad's money is right there in that safe. <laughs> that safe? Sir, um, the bank's closed today. What? Uh, it's a bank holiday. The bank's closed. It ain't no Gad Burns bank holiday. Get out of my way! Ow! Get out of my way! Come hey! On. This is outrageous. Who are you people? The James Gang. The James Gang? Yeah. How about the uh, James Younger Gang? The James Younger Gang. I'll whop you real good now if the you don't get out of my... I gotta get through and get to the bank. Ow! Stop! Ow. I'll show you ow! Excuse me, sir. It's a bank holiday. Ain't no dead burned bank holiday. What are you talking hey, about? Hey, mister! Get on hey, back there. What are you doing, mister? Go on. Sir, the safe. Ma'am, do me a favor and turn around. Cover your eyes. Why? If I'm gonna shoot this man, I don't think you want to see it. <sighs> Thank you. Hey. The safe. Now, it ain't no bank holiday. It's a bank right? holiday. It ain't. You're right, sir. Well, then why can't I go in there? On account of that we're uh, robbing it. Oh, why didn't you just say so in the first place? It's secret. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just wait over here. I'd appreciate that. Go on, kill. What the? What is it? Old man Tucker is just sitting there quiet outside the bank. So? So when have you ever known old man Tucker not to be yelling at everybody? Gotta go in there. Fine. I'm gonna go out here. I think we should talk. <laughs> Smart way or the stupid way. Only one way ends with you still breathing. Just because we're robbing a bank, there's no reason not to be civil about it. Where the hell were you? I had you covered. I got 5,000. I got three. $8,000? That's a thousand apiece. <laughs> <laughs> My luck is finally changing. All right, now what do we do with these? These are the uh, property rights, the farms that the bank was holding for the railroad. You better pass them over here before something happens to them. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> all right, settle down. Not all this money's ours. Uh, well, no, Jesse, it was the banks. See, that's why we had to go to all the trouble of stealing it. Look, we ought to take some of this money and give it to our neighbors in Liberty. There's a lot of people hurting up there. Hey, none of them risk their necks for this. No, 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 let's think about this. We create some goodwill with the folk here about, make it easier to dodge the law. 
You see, Frank's being smart about this. Well, no, Jesse, just because he reads all them books and he knows all them big words don't make him smart. Uh, yeah, it does. No, it don't, Bob. Stay out of this. Look, I think Jesse's got a good idea. Jim? He'll put you in charge of this gang, Jesse, huh? He did a mighty fine job of leading us during the war. Yeah, he did, Cole. And I seem to remember cutting a noose from your neck. And that's why you both lead the gang. Two of you went into that bank together, right? Two heads are better than one. All Jesse's doing is making a suggestion. So we're waiting to hear what you think of that suggestion, Cole, as the other leader of the gang. That's fine. What's that? I said I reckon it's a smart thing to do. Nicole, oh, wait, hey! That's it. We decide something, that's it. Now we're in this for the long haul. This plan of me and Jesse's. Smart. Help us. Give us places to hide. Don't have to worry about a farmer with a shotgun shooting us in our sleep. We gotta think. What's that word, Frank? Strategically. Yeah. Thanks. Strategically. Because this is a war. This ain't no war. What's that? Somebody paid me no thousand dollars to fight in a war. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, damn it, Tom, are you cheating again? <laughs> damn, man. I'm broke again. Next up, fax and switch. Yeah, see, it ain't a bank, Jesse. It looks better. I mean, it's a, it's a construction depot, so it'll have a strong box, some ammo, explosives. We can take those, and that way we can do a bigger job next time. And it's guarded by Pinkerton detectives. And I do so want to kill me some Pinkerton detectives. Boys! We're famous. The Fidelity Bank was robbed on Tuesday by a gang of 20 heavily armed men. 20? What are the odds? Another gang robbing the same bank on the same day as us. Mm. The outlaws calling themselves the James Younger Gang shot their way out of town, wounding the sheriff and three other townsfolk. The bank officials estimate the loss at $50,000. $50,000? More like 50,000 pesos. The U.S. District Marshal at St. Louis called this the first day of life bank robbery in American history. <laughs> Give it to history. Woo! I'll drink to that. We made history. That is something to be proud of. Yeah, the rest of that's a bunch of horse shit. All that means, Cole, is the next time we're going to have to set the record straight ourselves. Mm hmm. Line them up. Barkeep. Barkeep. Whiskey. Oh, They exchanged fire with the Pinkerton guards, wounding several. Then they raided the payroll office and blew the track. How much did they get from the safe? 35,000, sir, in coins and currency. Not to mention the added delay of miles of destroyed track. I'm killed blowing up my railway. Uh, to be precise, sir, they didn't actually blow the track. And who did? We did. I mean, our men. Our workers planted the dynamite, but they were under duress. Pinkerton, what is going on here? My professional opinion is that you've managed to piss off the wrong bunch of farm boys this time. Well, they had to be dealt with by burning down their homes. Well, you wouldn't have done that. Oh, I'd have done that, all right, but I'd have made sure I killed them all first. I want them arrested and hanged. Hey, do you think a jury in these parts would convict one of their own? No, I doubt it. We're beginning a very interesting game here, Mr. Raines. This is no game. Well, I'm afraid our adversaries don't agree. Rock Island and Pacific Railroad Depot was robbed just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. The brave and daring James Younger gang was heavily outnumbered by Pinkerton detectives. But the city lawmen were no match for the guns of the West. Fine piece of writing. The gang destroyed the Thaxton switch construction, meaning that for a few months, honest farmers will be able to sleep without fearing the railroad is coming to steal their land. Now, who wrote this? I'll see him hanged every Tuesday for a month. Oh, that's the best part. The foregoing article was sent to this newspaper was reputedly written by the outlaw Jesse James himself.
four more payments and you'll be caught up on the mortgage. You know, you have to look carefully at these Yankee $2 bills. I've gotten some funny ones lately. Good day to you, sir. Good right. afternoon, sir. Could you change this for me, please? Certainly, sir. Thank you. Sir, I'm sorry, but this bill is counterfeit. Oh, I don't think so. And I'm going to have to see the rest of your money so I can compare. It's a scientific method. I hear it's all the rage. Uh huh. Yes, you, you, you can compare all of them, Mr. James. Jesse James. Yes, sir. It's a terrible sketch. Uh, that's, that's all I have, sir. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. Take care, Nate. Here. Goodbye, sir. Have a good day. Goodbye. Pinkerton, why can't you catch these outlaws? I'm so in the game yet, sir. Jesse James and I are just learning each other's moves, feeling out each other's patterns. Oh. Well, I'm losing millions of dollars and months of time while you play chess with these farmers. Hartley farmers, sir. Each one of these men has four years of bloody fighting experience behind them. They are disciplined and have a charismatic leader. If I were to design the perfect outlaw band, this is the gang I'd create. So what can you tell me? It's going to be a long winter. that posse was gonna give up. Yeah, they were admirably persistent. That's the longest chase we've had. Jesse, we gotta have a word. Sure, cousin. You know, all the newspapers are calling this bunch the, uh, James Younger Gang, right? Yeah. Well, why in the hell aren't we the Younger James Gang? I mean, we got three Younger brothers and two James brothers. Well, I kinda like the sound of the James Younger Gang. Hey, Jim, I'll beat the piss out of you right now. Now, stay out of this. Oh, Jimmy's got a point, Cole. The Younger James Gang is confusing. How's that, Bob? Well, well, say we burst into a bank. And we yell, we're the Younger James Gang. Now, people are going to be thinking the Younger James Gang. Is there an older James Gang? Hey. How can we never heard of the older James Gang? So people trying to figure that out instead of raising their arms. Can't argue with that, Cole. Do we even have the same mama? Huh? huh. Do we? Is anybody hearing me? Huh? See, I got a little idea. If I kill you and then I kill Jim, I have no argument. Pinkerton, it's been eight months. I see holdups and I see robberies. I don't see men on the end of nooses. Uh, most of these James gangs encounters, sir, have been with local law enforcement. Quite frankly, no match for this gang's cunning. What about your detective? Listen, Listen. you shut up. Now, I have to hunt this man. I have to get inside this man's mind. I have to anticipate him. And that takes time. Time, time, time. Oh, I can't believe this. Do you believe there are certain towns in Missouri where the James Gang walks openly in the street as hero? Now, how can that be? Because they are charitable. Give money. To churches, to farmers. They gave the sharecroppers of Maddox so much money, they, they even built a school. That's my money. Well, sir, we should burn that school to the ground. That's the way to win them back to our side. Pinkerton. Hundreds of men have lost their lives to build this railroad. But they did the jobs. Now, this, this Jesse James, that's your job. Do your job. Then you let me do my job as I see fit, without interference. What can you tell me? It's going to be a long spring. 
People would just hand over their money and not shoot at us. Be a lot less killing. What's that? It's my lucky rabbit's foot. Took it off that dead fellow over there. Yeah, I don't think that one's working, Lonnie. What? Even here, even here, you might want to change that to uh, I thought of it. Oh, look, just write the whole thing yourself. I... Okay, sir, I think we know how this is gonna go. One false move and I'll blow your head off! Bob? You heard me, Jesse! You know how crazy I get? Crazy! Bob. We, uh, we got a problem, little brother? Frankly, yeah. I'm feeling a little... left out. Oh. It's about the wanna posters, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, someone's not standing out in people's minds at Chance. We're in the middle of something here. Yeah, Bob's upset. The posters? Yeah. Don't say yeah in that tone of voice. This is important. Okay. Pardon the delay, folks, but we had to get mad Bob Younger under control. Yeah, <clears throat> Bob here will kill a man for sneezing. And he's the best shot in the gang. Better than you, Jesse? Bob Younger he taught me how to shoot. Now, how about we get back to the robbery? Of course. That means now, mister! Now. That's it, no more bets. One more time. Come on. Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me one more time. Pretty please. Yeah! Damn, Lonnie, you're lucky. Luckiest man in the West. Now that I'm riding with Jesse James. Drinking whiskey, Jim? You're too young to be drinking whiskey. Not too young to shoot a man. Not too young to drink whiskey. <sighs> Jim, you uh been with a girl yet? Tonight? Why, well, I was just getting ready to go turn on that younger charm. Well, not exactly. You been with a girl ever? Hell yeah, I've been with a girl. I just, I didn't want to get one of them paid ladies. You know what I mean? I think so. <clears throat> I mean, you and Frank, Cole, even Bob. You know, you get all the girls because you're good looking and famous. They just look at me like I'm your baby brother. But don't tell nobody. No, I swear, not a word. You okay? I'll tell you what. I can't drink good neither. You go outside and throw up. You do that. Oh, hurry. Mm, hey, Lonnie. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let's go, Sugar Bridges. All Just right. call me Lucky Lonnie Packwood. <laughs> the new route for the railroad is complete, sir. Parker? Yes, sir. What's that? That, sir? Jenkins will explain that. Sir. Jenkins? Yes. Well, um, <clears throat> we have done a financial study of the construction costs uh, projecting... Jenkins! It's cheaper to go around Jesse James, sir. Even with the detours and the, the extra track, it's, it's just 
cheaper. So you are telling me that Jesse James has won? Oh, no. No, no, no. See, every three months, the James gang circles back to the vicinity of Liberty, Missouri. And they always pull a job before they return. So? So there's only four banks within that travel radius they've not robbed. Can you put men at all four? They don't have to. I have a much better tool at my disposal for narrowing it down to one bank. What's that? That intense hatred of you. Jesse. Things a fella's got to do to get a little respect around here. Finally. Well, you deserve it, Bob. It's about time. Thank you. Listen, Jesse, um, we got a problem. It's cold. Ah, uh, he's been full of vinegar lately. He's playing in a job. He's what? Look, he's my brother. And I don't want to start trouble. Tell me. Co, are you sure? Tell you what, boys. This is gonna be the biggest score yet. What will be? Up here in bank. Two days ride from Liberty. Got $100,000 of railroad money just sitting there. And that's all right there in the paper, huh? Don't sound right. Well, if you were read about it first, you'd have no problem. Yeah, what are you saying, Cole? Jesse, I robbed just as many banks as you have, all right? I know this town, I know this bank, and I say it's an easy job. Well, I think you're forgetting who's in charge. Jesse. You're in charge? Huh? We ain't partners no more, Jesse? Let me get this straight so I understand. You tell Cole Younger when and where to ride? Cole, he didn't mean that. You're taking sides against me now, Frank? No. So, so, so being with me is being against you? We don't want to do that. No. None of us poor idiots want to go up against Jesse James, greatest outlaw who ever lived. That's what it says in the paper. One for you, this game won't be able to find a goat's ass with a stick. You have got mighty full of yourself lately, Jesse. You think so? Uh, you all do? Frank? One time one of us comes up with an idea. A bad idea. Hey, I got us through the war, all right. And nearly got hanged in peacetime. Call! <laughs> You do want to hurt Thaddeus Reigns, don't you, Jesse? Come on, boys, put your guns down. I still don't like it. Well, let me run the show, General Lee. Jesse. Jesse! You want it? All right. We hit this bank. You got that money in your pocket, cousin. Cole Young is gonna make everyone rich! Woo!
Unless I shoot first. None of them. Jesse! You all right? I'm gonna rest here now. Hey, Bob, get some bandages. Ask me some whiskey, Bob. Okay. So you have a whiskey. I think this time we'll make an exception, Jim. Hey, brother. Sorry. All right, Jim, I'm sorry. It's the best time of my life. I was famous, you know. Just a kid. He was old enough. Oh, he was a boy riding with the most famous outlaws in the West, Frank. How was he supposed to say no to that? Railroad burned him out, too. You couldn't stop him. You're a piss poor liar for the smartest man I know. A war against the railroad. What the hell was I thinking? Well, I'm sure it seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm out. You're out? We ride for a year, then our blood gets spilled, and you're just gonna quit? Who's next, Cole? You? Me? Bob? Can't exactly go back to our lives, Jesse. I ain't telling you what to do, Clell. You wanna keep riding with Cole? That's fine by me. Frank? Well, 
Go on and get the hell out of here, then. Don't come back when you find you can't farm with a six-gun. See you. I'm getting married. I don't understand. No. She's the most wonderful woman in the world. I can't stop thinking about her. Z, look, I've quit my outlaw ways. Come live in my home and in my heart. Be my wife. That's why I picked it. We start a whole new life here, Z. Do you think you'll be happy here in Florida, Mr. James? Without all that excitement? I've got you. You keep me busy. I figure we can go over to the hotel, get checked in. Mm -hmm. And then I want to do something I've been thinking about doing for a long, long time. Now, wait a minute. There are certain things that have to wait until after the wedding. Driver, change of plans. Could you take us to the nearest church, please? Jesse Woodson James. Jesse James. The Jesse James. I could have lied, I guess, but well, I want this marriage to be legal. And I want you to know that I'm trying to start a new life here, so I'm depending on your... Discretion. Discretion. Sir, I'm a man of the cloth. Oh, thank you. Who uh, needs to repair a leaky church roof. Of course. Let's have a drink. In the church? Communion? You have a good day now. All right, everybody, hands in the air. There's a row. Move, move. We're safe now. Of course, of course. Sir? What? Where's Jesse James? This here's the Younger Gang. You understand? The Younger Gang. But the Younger... Ride with Jesse James. Hey! You want to die? You'd ride. No more. You understand? The safe now! All right? All right. All right. You know, Jesse James never went around yelling at folks. People used to snap to. Yeah, well, that was because of the reputation the gang had. As long as people think that Jesse is still riding, we're not going to get the respect that we deserve. Cole, we're outlaws. Not exactly the most respectable job, if you know what I mean. Bob, leave me alone. All right? Come on. Hmm. What? But the life of the James gang wasn't all robbing and shooting and killing. For these young Missouri bucks had a taste for the ladies. Especially the handsome and charismatic Jesse James. Beg your pardon. Blazing Guns of the West. True stories of Jesse James. Only a dime in the hotel lobby. Let me see that. Oh, I'm not finished. <laughs> when he sauntered into a saloon, his spurs jangling and his pockets full of gold. 
The ladies flocked around him like flies to a candied apple. As I said, hmm. Now, sweetie, y'all wouldn't go believe in one of them silly dime novels, would you? Swimming. Swimming is good. <laughs> See it, then it's not real. Yes, you James. You're under arrest. Arrested Jesse. What have you done? What's that, Bob? What have you done, Cole? I ain't done nothing, Bob. I swear. I swear on Jimmy's grave. Bob. You know Cole would never do such a thing. He and Jesse are best friends. Cousins. Blood brothers. Bob. Sorry, Cole. tomorrow but I like the presidential suite we'll get a similar room for the hotels in Washington DC nice. but you're not gonna get a fair trial here in front of a jury of Jesse James sympathizers oh but I'll get a fair trial with a jury bought off by Thaddeus Reigns that's the idea did you order our houses burnt down no that day I'm guilty of many things but that that was Mr. Thaddeus Reigns and Puck that day. This was you, by the way. You almost ended my career before it began. Pity. We're gonna hang you, you know. Yeah, I figured. Was it worth it? I should have just killed Thaddeus Reigns. That's what I did on. I'm not hanged yet. You cocky little bastard. Oh, you'll miss me. No. I'll hang you. But I may miss you a little bit. So, this is he. I remember you. Hey, you're Parker. I remember you, too. You killed my mom. How did you know? That's such a menace now, is he, Pinkerton? If that's the way you feel, I could always take off his irons. You stole thousands. It cost me tens of millions of dollars. Months of delays in construction. I wish I could hang you every single morning for a century. How do you like that? 
Solid gold. My father had it made. When I started this railroad, he gave it to me. I'll give it to my son when he takes over the company, and he'll give it to his son. The right sort of men will always run this country, Jesse James. Not your sort. You'll always suffer. And you haven't changed anything. I made you think twice about burning folks' homes down now, didn't I? We'll speak again in Washington. Oh, you're coming on the same train. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have to pay you a visit. Big words. It's a promise. Get him on board. Open up! Hook him up. Come with me, boy. Take him back. Now your guns. I don't like it. We can handle him. In the ten seconds we have been in this car, I've seen you get close enough for Jesse James to grab your guns at least three times. And believe me, if he lays a finger on one of your guns, you are all, and I mean all, dead men. He's chained up. I'll put that on your tombstone. Your guns. Hey, stupid. Yeah, you. Glad to see you know your name, you dumb shit. <laughs> what are you seeing, boy? I think I recognize you. How? I think I saw you leaving by the front door just as I was coming in the back. You shut up now, boy. <laughs> Your wife said you did that to her, too. Will this shut you up? You know, I could do this without the gun. Just makes things easier.
was for my ma. Now this is for everybody else. Mr. Important, James, I'll set the army on you. You and your wife. That is a nice watch you got there. Hand it over. If I can get you today, then you damn sure know I can kill you anytime I want now that I'm free. You sleep on that for the next 20 years. Give it to me. I'd just as soon kill you, Jesse James. But chasing you takes up too much of my time. Fair enough. Jesse James. Come on, let's run! Yeah! Ma'am. Can't believe that I had to blow up the train for you. Well, you are a hell of a woman. Don't swear. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I missed you, cousin. I missed you too, cousin. You know, uh. You know, when you uh you got caught, some people thought maybe uh I had something to do with it. So it never crossed my mind. Good. Things change when you quit the gang, Jesse. For example, I'm the one who now says, let's ride. You yeah, ain't bad at it. Yeah? It's tougher than it looks. Yeah. Where'd you get all these riders? No, we didn't. Terrell did. Uh, turns out your wife makes a hell of an outlaw. So what's the plan, Jesse? Well, Bob, I think my wife and I are gonna go and buy a farm. Farm? Down in Tennessee. Hmm. All right. Uh, you, uh, you don't want to maybe ride with the younger gang for a while before you do that? Bye, boys. Tom? Tennessee, huh? Yeah, I think so. I'll meet you there in a couple weeks. I'll see you soon. And, uh, thanks for that distraction back there. Hell, they hardly even noticed us. This is James. Shall we? Shall we indeed, Frank? Rangers? Tennessee. I'll explain on the way. All right, boys. Let's ride! Ah. When were you planning on telling me? I just did. Only because I asked? Damn, am I ever gonna win with you? Don't change the subject. <laughs> All right. All right. 